All right, here we are. We are live, and yeah, tonight the final makeup stream for Christmas, and we're going to do Hitman Three. Essentially, I'm going to do the campaign. I, I'm planning on doing the whole game because um, I've kind of put it off for a long time, and uh, it's just about it's about time we do it. So let's uh, let's enjoy. Watch a little bit of the story, play a little bit of the game. In perfect timing. Hi, Dad. No, what's up? Go. No. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna watch a little bit of the controls. He's looking good. Movement. These are really good-looking games. Full run, absolutely. Thanks for joining, Rain. Is this so? Like, is this supposed to be before anything? Um, before any of the other games, the fact that she's introducing herself as Diana, or is this like a separate like universe? Okay, so it's like a regular Hitman where it's always all over the place. Okay. I didn't care. Need something? Much of the monthly shows a bunch of moments of the games clean by Oh, that's cool. It sucks. I wanted to get the Absolution and the uh, Blood Money PS5 version. And what sucks is it's sixty dollars for like there's not even a physical version of it. At least that I can see. Which is really annoying. Alright. So we're doing the training mission, which is which is awesome. Yes, I do. What difficulty am I playing on? Does it show me or is it automatic? I really don't need all of these, like, things. Sorry, buddy. All right. I need a wrench. Already wearing disguise. Save and load. Big final Christmas style. Hell yeah, buddy. And then uh, no more streaming for the rest of my life. No, just kidding. Yes, I know. Hold the. Uh... Alright, so how am I gonna take this guy? So I like the idea that this is fake, but all these people, are they like fake people? There we go, wrench. Yep. 
Yep. That are active, yes. So, but when I kill this guy, is he really dead? This is gonna be a loud playthrough. Uh, I this is gonna be a Liam style playthrough where I try my best, but uh, I'm not exactly <laughs> the most stealthy. I don't I don't usually for like the first playthrough. I don't usually do like um, their their. Uh... Hey man, how's it going? Yeah, I never save. I never save and I never load saves. I always do it in one go. Because that's how we play Blood Money. So, like, I don't ever use saves or anything. I didn't know that was even a thing that people did. What is it trying to get me to do? Oh, it wants me to... <laughs> oh, what's going on, man? Take my wrench with me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Con. Were you guys super close? Enforcer Ritter. Ritter knows his crew. You can hide in plain sight by blending in behind the bar. So he knows his clue only. He knows them only to a certain amount. Yeah, no, I hear you. It's all good, man. Take all the time you need. Obviously, like, you know, it's tough, especially around the holidays, but... I've never been super close with, like, a lot of my, like, aunts and uncles and stuff. But I know people, like, my wife is, like, super close with her, like, extended family. Well, I mean, she grew up with them. She doesn't like them now, but... Yeah, I have a bunch of aunts and uncles who just don't live close by. Hey, but at least you had that time with him. Ooh, he's got a, his wife. Very angry. So what is the big circle around? Does that mean, like... I just stood there. Right, but but if I'm blending, then no. Look at that. Calmly, dude, I am I'm getting the fuck out of here. Whoop. Do you like my little wrench moves? Just wanna say I'm not gonna be staying too long. Hey no worries man. I'm glad to see you back though. In the new year, we'll be doing um, Ninja Gaiden 2, so if you want to see me get pissed at games, uh, that's definitely one to check out. Hell yes, dude. Nice chapter off the charge, baby. So the next one is the the other level that I think like I never hear anybody talking about, which is the um, 
It's the line, the other one where you set the guy off in the um, the rocket ship. Yeah, I'm going to be God of War 3 as well. I'm going to be doing all the God of Wars. I've been working, obviously, this year I did two, 1 and 2. Then next year I'm going to do 3, probably 2018. And depending on how long that takes, what I got to do it again. Um, and then I'll be doing Ragnarok eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely looking forward to it. All right, so freeform training. Before the final test, you're allowed to take more time. You're free to approach. We encourage you to complete as many challenges as possible. Do I actually have to do the challenges? I think Suma starts starting to redirect old missions maps in the new engine. No, I know. I wish. See you around, man. Have a good night. Hope you feel better. Um, do I have to do these challenges? I guess I don't have to. You don't have to, but if you want to lock stuff, you're going to want to do as many as possible. All right. So let's just... See. Um, challenges. Assassinate by drowning him. Fiber wire. The raft. So I guess I'll do the raft, right? I understand. Something tells me that this is probably not going to be, sadly, I don't think I'll be able to, yeah. See, I never did the challenges, I never did any of that stuff, and uh, that's why I never unlocked anything. You can do this. So I think I'm gonna do the um, the one where you shoot the thing. Hey, hey. Feats. Hide the hide the target in a closet. Disguise yourself as Norfolk. Meet the target. Um, board the yacht dressed as a security guard. Place a weapon to have a guard find it. Find the rat poison. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to do a couple of these. Because it looks like you can do a couple of these all at the same time. Yeah. See, that's what I didn't do originally, and, like, I never had anything. Why is he telling him to check it out? Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I got it.
How do I how do I put this thing down? Damn, he went flying. Now can I change into his disguise? Can I go down there? Oh, seriously, I can't? Damn it. I was hoping to change into him. Whatever, I'll change it to him. Understood. Can I dump it? So that counts as body hiding. Oh, because they're all actors. Okay. Should I get... Shouldn't I get... Don't I get, um, board of the yacht dressed as security guard? Or do I have to go literally through the main entrance? Oh, because he was already on the yacht. Oh, no, I did it. I did it. Does that not count? Because it says I need to place a weapon. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go get that cop. Maybe that cop had a weapon. Do only guns count as weapons or like any throwable? Oh, actually, I know what I'll do. Hey, I didn't do anything. What are you guys fucking scared about? Okay. Yeah, you're right, buddy. result of previous training all right let's see i did that did that did that that oh i forgot to find the i could have found the uh rat poison see i don't want to like keep redoing everything but i figured i'd do as many as i can in the Oh my 
my god, it's Jason Bourne. Well, this level has no one life, so you don't get to spend. But do I get an... Oh, so there's no point in really trying to do all that stuff. It's just like... Ah. What about this next level? Are there unlocks for this next one? I guess... I, you know what's funny? I played... Level... Ma as a level mastery. Right, okay. What's funny is I never unlocked the sniper rifle as long as I played the first two games. Mm. So that's like really what I want is a sniper rifle. I also... Mention the specific challenges and unlock costumes or weapons. Okay. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I moved the mic. Are there any unlocks for this one, or should I just, like, do my normal not give a fuck? Beat all assassination challenges. We will move the target. Nobody's found. Ooh, I guess I'll do those three. Because I can do those. But, like, go back. Go back to the challenges. Look at where it says rewards. Oh, uh, rewards. I see. So I get the tactical turtleneck for completing it, and then I'll. I get the lock. Pick. Wait a minute! I don't get the lock pick. I have to complete this all four mission stories to get the lock pick. Disguise yourself. Solve the chess puzzle. Well, I know you have to play the game, but... All four mission stories. Keep this in mind. There are like four different lockpicks to unlock. Well, all right, I'll give it a try. Describe yourself as the airplane mechanic. Prepare to jet for instruction. Solve the chess. Eavesdropping. Uh oh. It would really suck if somebody picked up a hammer. Concealed, you can, yeah, yeah. Oh, I won't. Shit.
Alright. Look at me. What's up, buddy? What if I just killed him? It sucks because like I do know how to play this game, so it's like, okay, I get it. I probably need a wrench though, right? Yes, it is. But what else do I need to do? Oh, I can only do one. So where is he? Do I have to go tell him it's ready to go? I like the idea that like these guys are supposed to like Come on. Oh, I can't talk to them to the walls. Oh there we go. <laughs> yeah daddy. He's fine. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Also, there's no way we can pretend like this thing. He legitimately is going to fucking die. Dude, come on. Yeah, come on. Dude. I'm so excited for you to test this. I can't wait. Get in there, buddy. Like, so these are supposed to be actors, but there's no way they can fake this. This guy's literally gonna fucking die. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I can kind of like understand like pretend also the one th that's the one thing about these games I wish like the snap neck snapping animation was a little bit better like I understand like it's nice for speed I'm head. No. 
Sorry, old Jesper kid. See you later. All right. I am bald. Ooh, 9,000 XP, look at that. Okay, I got the tactical turtleneck. That's all I got, okay. Obviously, I'm not gonna like, I might do like later streams where I try to unlock this stuff, but for the first playthrough, um, I might go back and like do them off stream for a little bit. Um, I just wanna get through like the game. But obviously, uh, I'm actually going to try to unlock stuff. But the first go-through is going to be obviously my first attempt where I don't try too hard to follow mission stories and stuff. I just like trying to... Um, I do it in my way first. The sort of thing, this, this game, I feel like there's too much hand-holding. As opposed to Blood Money where it was like... Yeah, I mean, yeah, the only thing is, like, it's still too much hand-holding in the sense of, like, I feel like Blood Money was more, like, every level had, like, oh, there's one little character that you can kind of dress as, but most of, but most of it was just kind of, I don't know. Oh, the casino, hell yeah. Dude, I wish they would remake Blood Money levels. God, that would be amazing. The casino was, like, the best level ever. I assume that's from two or something. Obviously, this is from Blood Money. It's so weird that they made the, um, I recognize, yeah, I recognize all of them, obviously, the ones that I've played. It's funny that, like, they made the, um, Silver Ball, the, like, legit Silver Ball, it's like, uh, you had to pre-order the original game, like, do you have the Silver Baller? Did you, were you able to ever get it? I don't know. I I, I I remember that you didn't have it originally, but I, I didn't know if you were able to ever get it. Oh god. Oh god. Cool. So that's the only thing I remember I had that I think you were a little jealous of, but it's nice that they released it. Okay, so I've got my concealed. The Raven suit's very cool. Is there an actual Agent 47 suit with the gloves? I assume there is, but it's probably you gotta buy it. Like, can I actually just buy it and have it unlocked? I just gotta unlock it. Is it hard to unlock? Okay. Well, as long as it's not too bad. 
Let's see what the challenges are. While he's on stage, drop a chandelier on her. I could probably do that. Push him off. Mission stories. Let's see what. Let's see what there is to unlock. Classic lockpick. Complete five silent assassin challenges. 12, 17. The classic baller. Classic all black suit. Ooh. What am I doing here? Okay. Um, I'm going to wear my classic suit. Professional difficulty. I wonder, like, is extra enforced? Okay. No. I'll kill this bitch so many times. My favorite way to do this mission is to set, is to turn on the fire alarm and the, like right at the beginning and the dude, um, yeah, I play this a lot. The dude just runs down. Echo? Fuck, what the hell? Is that better? Now Novikov and Morgolis have obtained a knock list of British Actually, better. agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. No, it was uh, coming through my computer. For some reason, my computer was on. My computer audio. Is that better, though? The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Victor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real okay. target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful and brilliant. She is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I do love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, play the fucking thing. Am I doing the campaign or am I just doing a regular level? I can't tell. Welcome to Paris, Rosie. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the greatest fashion elite. You will find Victor Novikov bask. All right. <laughs> Classic. All right, so let's see what mission stories we've got. 15 seconds of fame, a drink to die for, a private meeting, a quick break.
Oh, damn, that's gonna be really hard. Push her onto him. Nice mustache. That is Victor Nogikov, head of Sanguin and ringleader of the Order. Quite the resume. Let's. Is my um. I'm gonna do my old, my old favorite just for a uh, stream. Oh, where is it? I'm your security now. To be fair, I am your security now, buddy. I'm bald. Got a suit on. I guess I'll be this guy. Let's find out more about him. Little fucking tattletale. Suspect made himself scarce. That'll show him. Don't worry, we uh, we took care of it. It's okay, that guy. Don't worry about it. All right, now look at that. It's very satisfying. Oh, let me find out more about this guy. So, how do I find out more about him? Do I talk to him? What are you doing? You, you gotta leave right now. Okay, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. How do I eavesdrop? Do I have to eavesdrop or can I just, just be nearby? Okay. Alright. 
I need to pick up his cell phone. She must think he's an idiot. Now it's time to rock the, walk the runway. I've never done this story, so this is kind of cool, actually. Alright, let's get my makeup on. A touch up, dude. I wiped off the entire fucking makeup. Also, did they not notice the big barcode on the back of my head? Break two legs. Two sets of legs. That's not how he would do it, right? He would vault. Out of my way! I'm Kruger! Out of my way! This is just hilarious. I should take out, like, uh... I wish I could have like an LMG or something while all these roll down. Alright, now it's time to meet up with Daya Margolis. So I got pretty much free reign, right? Good luck with the show, Kruger. Thanks, buddy. They're not going to think I have weapons, I assume? What are you Jesus me about? What the fuck? Thanks.
Dude, we're not hanging out. Sir, what? How do I go up? What are you all suspicious about, buddy? Hello, Mr. Helmut. Helmut Kruger. Bow your head. Access to the auction and a private audience with Dahlia Margolin. Hold on, I gotta close the doors. So should I hear her out? So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore consultant. You look very silly. That's why I wanted you in the show. So Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York. Seek out Jessica. <gasps> I got a sniper rifle? Finally. All right, where's Victor Navarro? See you later, guys. <laughs> Helmut, can I take a picture with you? Was that a yes? No? Okay. Can you take a picture with me? How do I look? I know. I was like, I didn't know what the fuck had happened. I'll do this since I have the sign in now. Get a palace staff guard uniform. Isn't there like one in the in the bathroom though? In the in the locker room? So I don't have to like kill anybody. Find the recipe. Where is that old recipe at? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Find a box of rat poison. I have to do rat poison. I can't use the cyanide.
That's kind of sucks. See, that's my problem. Like, you have to follow these steps step by step. It's like, it's cool that I picked up this cyanide. Oh, it's not the kill. I guess so. Well, of course it would kill him, but it won't complete the story, the mission story. All right, let's tend to the bar. Nice work, forty-seven. Time to mix up a storm. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of rat poison. These chicks just straight up didn't notice it. Do I have to be near the drink? Oh, maybe I put the wrong stuff in. This here, you to blame for this? Who does this guy think he is? Whose friend is he? Oh, sorry, I was just making another drink for everybody. So I did use cyanide. So you just need to pick off the rat poison. Yeah, da, da. Crazy. Can't have any waiters around here. Right now. Ah, just let the waiter on. Not bad. Thank you. I've never done two mission stories in one. Usually I, uh, you know, just go guns a blazing. Well, it's not bad. A lot of XP. I got one star. I feel like I did really good. To kill too many innocents, maybe. I got the physical version. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. I don't need to get a glass. It has ice in it, though. And I have ice. And this is one that my mom made me, and it it keeps it cold. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. But then beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen.
smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. You're about to drink some fucking cyanide, bitch. Victor. You know, I just realized though, if I had given him the rat poison and he had chosen the vomit, I could have, I could have like drowned him, right? And then I would have gotten another challenge completed. I just realized. Damn. Well, something to do the next time. All right. Well, I think that's gonna be it for. Um, yeah. So either way, I guess that's true. I think that's going to be it for uh, tonight. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Hopefully everybody liked watching you play this. I do want to like continue doing this in the new year. So I want to talk a little bit about what my plans for the new year uh, are now that I have completed uh, the 25 streams of Christmas. Hopefully everybody's uh, enjoyed them. Uh, I had the makeup days, which is great. And obviously Ryan and you guys are watching, so I'm just going to run these by you. And you guys tell me kind of what you're thinking. Um... Obviously, I'm going to be starting uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, which I'm very excited for. Uh, I want to be playing Hitman. That's going to be a day. So, essentially, I'm thinking, like, one day a week, I do... Um, I kind of like, have a longer day where I am working on Ninja Gaiden 2. Uh, one day a week, I kind of play just random games. And it could be something like Hitman where I'm working on or, you know, whatever I feel like playing at the moment. And then I'm also going to have a day where I do the new uh, WWE Universe... Just the open universe with real wrestlers, fake wrestlers, random people, weird stuff, and I am just going to commentate on it. I am not going to uh, do anything like you know, create it or play it. I'm just going to commentate, kind of like the Royal Rumble. Um, but I figured you know, the Royal Rumble was really funny and we had fun. Now here's the question I have for everybody, for you two, and I kind of want to know: Should I create a new promotion specifically for this and just do like the Liam the DM Twitch whatever? Or should I just do WWE and then just put random people in? And that's kind of my question. Oh, special branding. Now, do you think I should do the Twitch championship just as the main championship? Yeah, no, I can make arenas and things like that, and I can just do it Twitch and be like, you know. Well, I, I'll do like the, you know, the Liam the DM, like, Liam Wrestling League or something, something. I'll come up with a name, but the Twitch championship will be the main championship, and then I'll kind of work to stuff. So I'll make a few things, but it's really going to kind of just be left up to the computer, and that's going to be like... Probably do that on, what do you guys think, you, like Mondays would be fun, like just right around Raw time and do like just one episode and just kind of see what happens. I don't know how fun it'll be, like just watching normal matches, um, but you know, I'm hoping that it creates kind of stories that are fun to follow. But anyway, that's what I'm, what I'm thinking. Um, probably, like, Fridays or Saturdays are going to be, like, one day a week I'm going to be streaming, like, full games, like the Ninja Gaiden, and that's going to be kind of longer streams. Uh, but other than that, I'm trying to keep it at one to two hours, um, just kind of whenever. You know, obviously I'm working on Hitman, which is fun. I might play some more Diablo 4, but I've been doing that off stream as well, which has been fun. Um, and then, obviously, when new games come out, yeah. Well, we'll see. When new games come out, um, I'll probably stream those as well. Like, those will take precedent. Uh, yeah, but anyway, we want to thank everybody for joining me for the 25 streams of Christmas. Uh, Big Liam streams are back, and we're better than ever. We're comfortable. We're, I've got all this space. And, yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. And I want to thank everybody for joining me. And I will check you guys on the next one. See you.